Hey folks, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ Stocks, crypto assets, and interviews. It is Wednesday, November 23rd. Hope you're well. And in this video, we're going to do some product reviews. Looking forward to today's video. If we could smash the like, help support me in the channel. If you're new here, you can subscribe, take the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. And if you're just joining the stream, welcome. Make sure to smash the like, help support me. I would appreciate it. And share the video with anybody that might find value. Going to jump into today's product reviews. We've got an exciting one for you. I'm really excited about the House of Terpenes, the Ginger Lime Mule. They have these new cantinis and mocktails. And they've also got Cranberry Citrus. Also going to be reviewing the Sweet Justice. I'm hearing a lot of good things about this one. Uh, I have tried a couple of these ones. I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, the Cher Cherry Cola. Uh, but the cranberry ginger ale was the new one that we uh, that we got in today at uh, Canna Cabana. Also stopped by Value Buds, but going to be reviewing those two. Also, uh, didn't put it on the thumbnail, but I've already did a review on this one. This is the Little Victory Peach, so we'll, I'll give my thoughts and opinions on that one. I know I've already I think I already did a post on that one saying what I thought my my thoughts were on that one, but uh, it was fantastic. Uh, but going to jump into today's product reviews, and if anybody's tried any of these, let me know. Uh, also, the Mexican Lime Redibles, I bought these, so I bought quite a few things today at the store. I got the Redibles, I got the Little Victory Peach, the Sweet Justice Cranberry Ginger Ale, the Cantinis, the Ginger Lime Mule, the Cranberry. I didn't actually try the Cranberry today, but I'll give my thoughts and opinions on that. And what else did I buy? I bought the Redibles, and I got the Orange, Little Victory Orange. So it's been a while since they had that one in stock. Um, I've already done the reviews on that one. So this one's going to, the video today is going to be focusing more on the Cantinis and the Sweet Justice. Uh, but like I said, stop by the store, Value Buds and Canna Cabana. We're getting tons of discount prices. We're getting drops all the time. I did a post as well on my YouTube channel here. You can see that they had the XMGs at $2.60. It was regular price $3.99. They dropped it to $3.99 regular price, but it was on sale for Black Friday. And the Molo Lime, uh, the Molo 5 Lime is $2.27 on sale and the regular price now is $2.99. So these are getting where getting to a point where we would like to see them individually, right? Uh, they're kind of in line with regular beers and single serve beers. So if you are just joining the stream, welcome, welcome everybody. Gonna jump into the product reviews here in just a moment, but let us know where you're tuning in from. If you could smash the like, help support me in the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Share the video as well and let's get into it. So I did do a video on Trust USA ending, so the CBD beverages in the US. Uh, that is going to be ending as of December 31st, if you're not aware of that. Uh, that's something that just came out. Molson Coors and Hexo decided that jointly together that they were going to end that part of the, the business. But Trust Canada, there's two entities, Trust Canada and Trust CBD US, USA, right? So they're just getting rid of the USA portion. Trust Beverage Co., so this website here is still very much intact. And in fact, they've actually released about 15 new drinks over the last couple of months. So in my opinion, it's smart because they said that they're going to re-enter the USA once the regulatory landscape changes. And at this point, you know, the CBD drinks, they're just not, it's not creating enough of a frenzy. It's not creating, a, they're not able to scale. There's some regulatory hurdles as well with regards to hemp. And it just, it didn't make any sense, right? We know that they had impairments from trust and it, 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 this wasn't driving growth and profitability. So the fact that, you know, they're focusing more on the segments that drive profitability, I think is a good thing. And we could see descheduling or even, you know, just rescheduling, but even descheduling in the US over the next few months, maybe the next year, and then maybe full-blown legalization in the next two to three years from now, at which point they could re-enter the space through trust and they could sell THC beverages, which we all know is the moneymaker, right? I get tons of people on my videos asking me, where do I get these? Where do I pick up the cantinis? Where do I pick up the sweet justice? Where do I pick up this little victory? The molos, well, you can't because you're not in Canada, right? But as soon as we can, that's something that would scale, right? And we need that rescheduling or descheduling even, even or full-blown legalization, right? So we're going to review, uh, like I said, the House of Terpenes today, uh, the Cranberry Citrus Cosmo. So I didn't get this one today. I wasn't able to get it. Uh, the store that I was at didn't have it, uh, but essentially this one was fantastic. I posted it on the, I think I posted it on my YouTube page. Uh, yeah, I did actually I, I, on the community. If you're And if you're not already subscribed, you can subscribe. But if you're not already privy to this information, if you go to the community tab, this is where I post a lot of the raw information with regards to you know products and pricing and things like that and if you tried any of these new products let me know what you think 
Uh, but the price point's really good as well, comparative to a lot of other, uh, you know, competitors and products on the market. But this was the original post, so about eight days ago, new house of Terpene Cantini is now available in Edmonton, Alberta, and Canna Cabana locations. And these were absolutely fantastic. The next day, uh, I went and got round two because they're that good. Uh, but man, these these new Cantinis are the money makers. They're the same type of um, can as the XMGs, so same same amount of milliliters. It's two thirty six. So they're and you know they're 10 milligrams right so these things are just these are going to just destroy uh, in popularity and in, in popularity in my opinion because of how good they are um i would give them a perfect the cranberry a perfect 10 out of 10. it's a 10 milligram uh, a night with friends kicking off a dinner party the best ever host gift um fast onset but 15 to 20 minutes i can vouch for that i drank uh i drank four of them so two xmgs and two of these and i was i was good to go but Flavors of tart cranberry, lime, orange zest, and turpignol. You can definitely taste the cranberry uh, and the orange. Couldn't really taste much of the lime in this one, but this one I gave a perfect 10 out of 10. This one was absolutely fantastic. And like I said, today, just finally getting to uh, try the ginger lime mule. So really looking forward to it. Uh, the ginger lime. So flavors of ginger, lime, and curcumin and 10 milligram as well so again very similar to the xmgs and we know that they're revamping the house of terpene so they had the limonene they had the valencine uh, but if we go down to the bottom they only kept the limonene so the limonene was by far the best selling so they're getting rid of the products that just aren't selling and, the, and they're keeping the ones that are and they're innovating and creating their like i said the xmgs were such a hit that they're they're focusing on these types of products and this format format's the same the the milligrams are the same for for thc and uh, I think it's just a smart move overall. But like I said, gave that a perfect 10 out of 10, the cranberry citrus. Also a uh, perfect time with Thanksgiving. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving to our neighbors in the South. So happy Thanksgiving uh, in, the, uh, in the US. Obviously we've already had ours in Canada, but uh, definitely a good time to be releasing those. But let's dive into the ginger mule. So ginger lime mule. And again, if anybody's tried these, let me know in the comments, but really looking forward to this one. Like I said, I gave the other one a perfect 10 out of 10. Let's pour it into a cup here so you, everybody can see it. Kind of looks like the limonene, actually. So cheers. Again, if anybody's tried these, let me know. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, they pack a pretty good punch. The, uh, the, the mules definitely got some kick to it. You can definitely feel the kick in the cranberry citrus Cosmo as well. And it's just, uh, it's not like the XMGs. The XMGs are kind of more like a juice, uh, very easy drinking. I could crush an XMG in probably two drinks. Um, these ones are a little bit more of a sipping, sipping occasion, right? So the cranberry definitely had a, a pretty good kick to it. Uh, like it's supposed to be like a mocktail. So a type of martini, a cantini and the ginger lime mule so obviously the ginger and the mule uh, mixed together this one's fantastic this one definitely kind of makes your kind of makes you want to cough right because it just it, it it gives you that that uh that kick but uh this one's really really good wow yeah you can definitely i definitely get the mule vibe taste is fantastic bang on the, the ginger is definitely overpowering. I think I like the cranberry better. To be honest, I'm not the biggest um, mule fan, like when with regards to alcohol in general, but um, I'd say I'd give the cranberry a 10 out of 10 and I give this one a nine out of 10. But yeah, you can definitely taste the, the ginger. I'm getting more of the lime in this one. And then it finishes off with like a curcumin. So you get that kind of, that uh, domino effect. But those are fantastic. Like I said, it, it is uh, 10 milligrams, 236 mils, um, no CBD. And 70 calories, 17 grams of carbs. So 17 grams of sugar and two milligrams of sodium, 10 milligrams of potassium. Ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, cane sugar, reconstituted lime juice, water, concentrated lime juice, emulsion, glycerin, water, polysorbate 80, modified coconut oil, sunflower, lysinin, and citric acid natural flavor. 
When was it packaged? Let's see here. Packaged September 1st this year. So yeah, that's fantastic. I give that one a 9 out of 10. In terms of pricing, I got it at uh, Value Buds. And the price, this is the first time they've ever had it as well. Normally, when they got the XMGs, they would start them off around eight, nine dollars, which was quite high. But now Value Buds has them at six forty-seven. So retailing individually for six forty-seven. Same with the Cranberry Citrus as well, Cosmo. But um, relative, that's a pretty decent price point uh, for these for these Cantinis. The uh, Little Victory Peach was four dollars and forty-seven cents at Value Buds, and the Blood Orange which is in the fridge is 427. So the prices are coming down. And like I said, we had the the deal on uh, XMGs were like $2.60 now regular price 399 and the Molo 5 lime now at Canna Cabana is uh, 299 and it was on sale for like $2.27. Uh, they obviously sold out like the first day that they put the sale on for Black Friday, but uh, seeing the Molo limes at 299 now regular price at Canna Cabana and the XMG Citrus at $3.99 is definitely a sweet spot where we want to see those, right? Uh, but yeah, the Cranberry Ginger Ale at Canna Cabana, uh, which is the Sweet Justice. This one was $7.43. The Mexican Lime Redibles are $4.05. So pretty decent price. And these are 10 milligrams as well, the Redibles. So I'll be feeling pretty good after I get all of these in me here tonight. But um, yeah, the the cranberry ginger ale. We'll get into this one next. Uh, the only thing I'll say though is it's seven dollars and forty three cents, uh, and that's at Canna Cabana, which has those competitive prices just like um, just like Value Buds. So and somebody said I see, see some comments on one of my videos saying that the Sweet Justice. I think it was actually one of my posts on the community tab. They said that the price point's really good, but. I don't see how because this is 10 milligrams and it's almost eight dollars right seven dollars and 43 cents whereas the xmg citrus is 10 milligrams and that one's now regular price 3.99 right so it's like half the price <laughs> and yeah we'll we'll see this one's definitely got more you know it's got 10 milligrams the same but it's 355 mil whereas the xmgs are 236 mil um but i'm just going to bring up the website here now for uh sweet justice so you can see here they have og cola Cherry Cola, they've also got OG Cola free. So I assume that means sugar free. And they've also got Elderflower Pomegranate, Pacific Island Punch, and Cranberry Ginger Ale. So if any, again, once again, if anybody's tried any of these, let me know what your favorite one was. Um, but this one, uh, OG Cola 3.5 milligrams. This is 10, 10, 5. So this is a balanced Elderflower Pomegranate. It's a balance between the two. Uh, Pacific Island Punch has got uh, 10 and 5 ratio. A little different there and then the cranberry ginger ale is 10 milligrams so if you're looking for cbd elderflower pomegranate and pacific island punch are your only options there and the rest are thc the og cola having a little bit less uh, thc content uh, i did try the cherry cola i wasn't the biggest fan of it i mean it was good um, let me know in the comments below what you think in the live, in the live chat or in the comments after if you're viewing this after the fact but um wasn't a huge fan uh, I found it was a little flat, like I opened the can and I drank it right away, but I still found it a little flat, uh, didn't really give me that that cola vibe, um, but the, the flavor was good, and uh, obviously, you know, 10 milligrams, it got the job done, but uh, I just I just found that there was something that left me wanting a little bit more, but I would probably give the cherry cola, um, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10, and uh, I haven't tried any of the other ones, so looking forward to the cranberry ginger ale. And Sweet Justice, this is by uh, Electric Brands. So I haven't heard too, too much about these, these guys and gals, but uh, about Sweet Justice. So we are a small group of friends and MJ enthusiasts who escaped the corporate world to build an uplifting, inspiring, and authentic collection of beverages that people love. Proudly Canadian and independent, we believe in bringing things together in ways that we can surpri that are surprisingly surprising and delightful because of sweet justice our beverages are crafted with natural flavors real sugar and dosed with nano emulsifications that are all natural and gluten-free sweet justice is a trademark of electric brands so as far as i'm aware this is all they do is uh is these these colas these type of uh beverages and i know they're they're gaining in popularity so let's jump into the cranberry ginger ale so like i said 10 milligrams 355 mils no cbd 
Let's get 100 calories and let's see 25 grams of sugar. So a little bit higher on the on the sugar side, but not as much. So the XMG sodas, those have quite a bit of sugar in them. I think they're like 40, 40 grams of sugar. So this one's a little bit less in terms of, uh, of sugar content and 10 milligrams of sodium, 10 milligrams of calcium and potassium. So ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, natural flavors, apple and black currant concentrate, radish and black carrot concentrate, coconut oil, kalea extracts, citric acid, phosphoric acid, ascorbic acid, mixed, don't know how to say that word, <laughs> um, potassium sorbonate, sodium benzoate. So yeah, lots of different ingredients in this one. Um, whereas uh, I know the... Uh, the trust ones they're pre they're pretty limited with the with the amount of ingredients but this one's got a lot a lot of different uh ingredients that i'm not used to seeing but peak processing solutions is the entity that they have on the can if you want to inquire um, but yeah trademark electric brands and it was packaged on september 30th of this year so very very recently uh, let's dive in Hmm, it doesn't really smell like anything. Nice and pink. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Hmm. It's pretty, pretty subtle. Not getting, um, a huge taste out of it to be honest huh yeah I don't, I don't really get that much cranberry definitely get more ginger ale than anything this one seems a little bit more carbonated but like the carbon the carbonation doesn't last for very long i'll just bring up the full screen here so, yeah, it's not uh, it's not really carbonated at all. Like to the eye, like you can't you can see it as soon as I pour it in there. It's a little carbonated. Not sure if you guys can see that or not. But yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of carbonation going on in here. But it's pretty good. The cranberry is pretty faint. Like I'm, I'm not getting a whole lot of cranberry on this one. Um, more of the ginger ale, but I'm not going to lie. I was expecting a little bit more of the cranberry, but it's, it's good. I'd give this one probably 8.5 out of 10. Maybe a nine, <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely. I liked it better than the cherry cola. That's for sure. But uh, very satisfying, refreshing. Definitely see what the the fuss is about. Um, I'd probably give it an actually an eight point five, or maybe even an eight, just because of the price point. Seven dollars and forty three cents for one um, just doesn't really make sense to me, especially at Canna Cabana, where they're a you know the lowest price guaranteed, as they say. Uh, whereas, like I said, the citrus XMG citrus is ten milligrams as well. And it was only $2.60 and regular price for $3.99. So for literally for half the price, you can get 10 milligrams in an XMG, which I think tastes just as good. And they have way less sugar in them as, as well. Um, so the fact that, you know, the price of the um, Sweet Justice is at $7.43, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it down to an eight just because of uh, the price point alone. But Overall, very, very good, very refreshing. Like I said, not getting as much cranberry as I thought I would have got in this one. Um, more of the ginger ale style, but I'm also not a, a big sugar guy. I try not, I, I'm also, I also cut cola and like pop out of my life, basically out of my diet. So I don't, I don't uh, consume pop at all. I, I will the odd time, right? Um, if I order some food or something like that, some takeout or something like that. Uh, but generally, I don't buy it. I don't keep it in my fridge. So it's more of a blue thing, a blue moon thing for me. I uh, only try it every once in a while. Uh, I do like the fact that the the cantinis, uh, they only have 17 grams of sugar and the XMGs even have less. Uh, and then you get the uh, the sweet 
the little victory peach sparkling peach uh, that one's only got five grams of sugar in it um so the, the sparkling peach is really good as well uh, again i've already done a post on this one i didn't do an actual video review um but this one's really good as well oh man does it ever smell like peach too as soon as you crack open the can but yeah obviously only five grams of sugar so this one's this one's super refreshing as well um how much was it again 447 but the only thing about this one is is you only got 2.5 milligrams of thc and 2.5 milligrams of cbd so definitely on the lower end of the spectrum uh, i have tried these seltzers as well they're really good um very low in sugar and that one's really good as well the sparkling lemonade where's the peach at there it is there so this is the one i'm trying here now um but yeah very refreshing like i said this one's more up my, my alley because it just doesn't have a whole lot of sugar but the only thing is is it doesn't have a, a whole lot of um thc content so it's, it does have cbd if you're looking for that um, but i find i would say that the xmgs are the best option best bang for your buck 10 milligrams and very low sugar um they all taste fantastic but the sparkling peach man is is fantastic i'd probably give it an eight out of ten Maybe even a 7.5 just because of the fact that the price is still quite high for only 2.5 milligrams of each balanced one-to-one -one ratio for CBD and THC. And the price at uh, at 420, uh, 447, it's just hard to justify that. But very, very good. You can obviously uh, smell the peach, taste the peach. And like I said, it's not overwhelming in terms of sugar. But really like those. And I've already done videos on the... Uh, on the Mexican lime redibles. I, I did, I think I did all of them actually. The the orange, the root beer, or sorry, no, I did the orange, the root beer, and the regular cola one. These ones are the Mexican lime. And as you can see, they're just tiny. Um, and they're in the shape of the crown for the reticam. Um, just to give you a kind of an idea of how big it is, here's my Apple Pro case. So it's pretty small, right? Like it's barely even, barely even notice it on one of those. So it's 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 not a whole lot of uh, edible to eat. Um, some people are saying that that's kind of a bad thing because they were hoping it'd be a little bit more, and that they could, um, you know, get a, a little bit of a snack on, I guess. Uh, but for me personally, um, it takes a lot of m like milligrams for me to feel anything. So especially you know if you if you just ate dinner or lunch or whatever, and you want to have. Um, in the evening, you just had dinner and you want to get a little bit of a buzz. Um, you know, you probably don't want to eat a big, massive chocolate bar. And when there's only 10 milligrams in one big chocolate bar, if you're like me, I'd need to eat two or three chocolate bars to feel anything. Whereas these Mexican lime, these ones are fantastic and they're really, really small. So there's four in here. They're each 2.5 milligrams for a total of 10 and only four bucks. So I give these ones, I buy these all the freaking time. I take them into, uh, to the, the hockey games with me when I go see the Edmonton Oilers play or, uh, concert I just got back from the simple plan and offspring and you can take these in your in your pocket and they don't say anything right so um but yeah these are fantastic the Mexican limes really really good can't wait to try the other redibles um oh yeah man these are good and like I said there's not a whole lot to them so I'll crush all four of these right now like no problem right and you wouldn't even like I said some people like that there's not as much snacking involved but i kind of like that because it takes me more to feel it and i can eat eight of these and get 20 milligrams for eight dollars right and not even feel phased like not full at all right there you go all four down so i give these ones a nine out of ten maybe even a nine and a half i would like to see them maybe a little tiny bit bigger but overall these are fantastic. Can't beat it. Like I said, a can of Cabana, they're only four bucks and 10 milligrams. And you can easily crush four of these. But if you're not used to, you know, consuming MJ, um, definitely, definitely go easy on those. Because uh, I know some friends that only do 2.5 or 5 milligrams and that's, that's enough for them, right? So I'm going to start wrapping it up. But yeah, the, for all that I spent, so I got two of the House of Terpenes ginger limes i got one uh little victory peach one blood orange little victory 
And I also got the Mexican Lime Redibles and the Cranberry Ginger Ale Sweet Justice. And it came to $23.27 and the other one was $12.15. So you're looking at $35, bucks, 36 bucks for all that stuff, right? So pretty decent. The Ginger Lime, really, really good. <laughs> wow. You'll definitely know what I mean, though, when you drink it. You get that that mule in the back of your throat where you, you just feel like you have to cough. But like I said, these ones are cool because they're carbon, they're more carbonated and you can sip on them for a little bit longer. Whereas the XMGs, you just want to pound it back in one go, right? Because it tastes so freaking good. Um, but these ones are nice because you can sip on it. Like I just finished that and I only poured in half the can into the cup. And in case you haven't noticed, they look way different when you take them home versus on the website. So just show you the website here again. So that's what they look like here, but obviously due to Health Canada regulations and everything, uh, they can't have them looking like that. Not yet anyway, but eventually the drink limit's gonna go up. You'll be able to order way more than we can order now. I think the limit's around five or six, depending on, you know, if, if you buy these ones, you can probably buy six or seven because they're 236 mils, but you can only buy like five Molos, five Sweet Justice, right? The 355 mils. Let me know if anybody, if you're viewing this, cheers. You bet. Thanks for joining the stream, David. Thanks for joining the stream. Sycamore style. I know this is uh, not the first time you guys have been on the streams and on the channel. So appreciate you tuning in. If anybody is viewing this after the fact, let me know what your thoughts are. But highly recommend the Cantinis. My favorite is by far the, the Cranberry Citrus Cosmo. I give that one a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, can't beat the price, can't, and the, it'll continue to come down. Can't beat the taste. Um, just an absolute moneymaker, these, these two are, in my opinion, right? Mocktails, cantinis, brilliant, brilliant marketing. They're replicating the XMG format, which is very, very popular. Um, and there was also an article that just came out that uh, trusts in Canada, they had like wrapping paper for the holiday season uh, so they can gift these, these drinks and whatnot to family members and friends. And uh, you can wrap it in trust wrapping paper and it makes it just the experience a little bit better whenever, because you know, some of these things are pretty bland when you give them to them, when you give them to people. Uh, but I think it said they had like 37.7% market share in Canada right now. Um, so obviously the news about Trust USA and the CBD drinks in the USA, while that's unfortunate, not a bad idea in my opinion to focus on the areas that are driving profitability and growth. And that would be Trust Canada. And like I said, about 15 new drinks in the last several months and really, really uh, impressed with the new, uh, the new drinks, but not only that, uh, just getting rid of the products that weren't selling, right? So they kept the House of Terpenes Limonene and then they come out with these new XMG type formats. So this is just brilliant all around, obviously Molson Coors, uh, probably the brains behind all of the, the marketing and whatnot. Um, but I'm just, I'm excited for the future. I can't wait. Just imagine once these are all available, uh, imagine when us the us americans you know our friends to the south can all buy all of these drinks these xmgs right we've got the iced tea blue raspberries by far my favorite then you got the sodas you got root beer and orange and um this one's really good too the watermelon citrus like i said now 3.99 regular price at canna cabana you got the tropical fruit mango pineapple even got the drops and then all the sodas right and then the alts which are zero sugar so Imagine once all of these can come to the States, the seltzers, the, the peach that I just reviewed, the, this one's really popular as well. A little victory, dark cherry, you got the blood orange, sparkling lemonade. Now just imagine the growth, right? And maybe that is part of the plan as well. Maybe they think that, you know, we're going to, we're going to get rid of trust CBD USA and we're going to wait until the, you know, the U S uh, moves on reform and potentially deschedules, but reschedules. And then all of these products, these bed follows, so they're craft beer, but no alcohol, obviously just uh, THC and CBD. And then we got House of Terpenes. So there's literally so much opportunity here from a, just a, you know, from a drink and trust perspective. But the fact that they now have about 38% market share in Canada and all these new drinks, these new cantinis are gonna be money makers. I'm excited to see what their uh, market share is going to be over the next few years. And, you know, at, at least over the next, over 2023, and then also into the holiday season here, uh, gonna be interested to see some of the numbers that come out of that. 
But like I said, just as a recap, definitely like the cranberry citrus the most. 10 out of 10. Uh, Ginger Mule, I'd give a, probably a 9 out of 10. And the Sweet Justice, I'd give an 8 out of 10. Uh, just because of the price point. Like I said, $7.43 for 10 milligrams. Um, just seems a little bit high for me. And uh, not, not that much carbonation in it. And uh, yeah, just a little higher on terms of sugar. So that's why I gave it, if it, if it, you know, it was around five or six dollars, I'd probably give it a nine out of 10, but very refreshing. Uh, and really enjoyed the products today, but uh, dummied all the, the Mexican limes. So I'm going to have to finish these drinks off here. I got um, probably half of each of those uh, and then a couple more in the fridge. So uh, definitely be feeling good. Like I said, it's about a 15 to 10 to 15 minute onset and you can really feel it. Uh, after about 20 minutes, if you pound a couple of them in, yeah. So if you drink uh, like an XMG and a Sweet Justice, uh, easily in 15, 20 minutes, you know you're you're feeling it. And like I said, I've been I've been a consumer of MJ for probably um, about 15 years now, uh, maybe more than I'd like to admit. But uh, yeah, you know it, it, it takes me quite a bit, uh, usually anywhere from 20 to 40 milligrams to, before I feel anything. And with these drinks. They, they just hit you differently. They really hit you differently. They hit you super quick. And I'll probably do uh, now, I think 50 to 60 is too much. So I'll probably do, I'll keep it around 40 to 50 milligrams of THC uh, for myself, because like I said, I've got years and years of experience and, you know, just a little bit more tolerance than the average person. But I do like the, the drinks. They're fantastic. It's exciting uh, to try them all. And obviously uh, a little bit better for you as well in terms of, uh, you know, combustion and, and inhaling uh, into your lungs, right? So obviously uh, going through your liver is probably, uh, I'm not a doctor, but re standard reason that it would be a much more healthier uh, alternative than, you know, lighting something on fire and breathing it down your lungs. We've all been there more than likely, um, but, you know, doing that for years on end, probably not the best idea either. And uh, yeah, we we're all about health and, and wealth on this channel and yeah, having fun. We have a lot of that. I'm really excited about uh, more product reviews in the future, but going to end it there. Thanks again, everybody for joining us. Uh, and uh, if you're viewing this after the fact, like I said, let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these, what your favorite uh, product has been thus far. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.